to bilateral cooperation and create a great many job opportunities for the two nations. Zhou Xiran, CCTV. Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle hosted a state dinner on Wednesday for President Hu Jintao. The event was attended by business leaders, prominent Chinese Americans and Hollywood stars. Former Presidents Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter were also there. The 225 guests were spread out among three rooms, the State Dining Room, the Blue Room and the Red Room. And then they moved to the East Room for the entertainment. The two presidents' toasts featured promises of better relations all round, and Obama used the moment to highlight an agreement that will ensure the giant pandas from China will remain at the Smithsonian National Zoo for another five years. To our people, the citizens of the People's Republic of China and the United States of America, may they grow together in friendship, May they prosper together in peace, and may they realize their dream of the future for themselves, for their children, and for their grandchildren. The purpose of my visit is to increase mutual trust, enhance friendship, deepen cooperation, and advance a positive, cooperative, and comprehensive China-U.S. relationship for the 21st century. In recent years, particularly over the past two years since President Obama took office, China-U.S. relations have made strong headway thanks to the joint efforts of both sides. We have increased exchanges and cooperation in a wide range of areas, maintained close communication and coordination on major international and regional issues, and played a positive role in promoting peace, stability, and prosperity in the Asia-Pacific region and the whole world. In their joint statement, China and the U.S. agreed to build a comprehensive and mutually beneficial economic partnership. The two sides vowed to strengthen macroeconomic communication and cooperation in support of strong, sustainable and balanced growth in the United States, China and the global economy. Meanwhile, White House officials say the U.S. is expected to sign a 25 billion U.S. dollar export deal with China. The agreement will support up to 235,000 American jobs. Li Xiang takes a look. A White House official says the trade deal includes a 19 billion dollar purchase of 200 Boeing aircraft. It's reported that other beneficiaries of the agreement are companies involved in high tech construction and power supply. Such a deal signals a sound start to this year's Sino-U.S. trading relations compared to the experience of last year. Figures from the Chinese Ministry of Commerce show the trade volume surged nearly 30% in 2010. China is the second largest trading partner of the U.S. and third largest export market. But trade disputes were also rising. Last year, the U.S. imposed six anti-dumping and anti-subsidy investigations, as well as 18 intellectual property rights investigations against the Chinese products, the most among China's trading partners. Some Americans say China deliberately pursues a huge trade surplus by undervaluing its currency. But China believes the trade surplus is the result of a global shift of manufacturing capacities. China aims to significantly boost its high-tech, new energy, and environmental protection sectors over the next five years. Experts say this is expected to provide tremendous opportunities for U.S. business. In the meantime, China also hopes to expand its investment in the U.S. and hopes the U.S. will relax restrictions and provide more market access to Chinese enterprises. CCTV. Hu Jintao's visit to the U.S. is a timely reminder that China plays a key role in the U.S. economy and is a crucial source of profits for its businesses. Many are hoping Hu Jintao's four-day state visit will help break down barriers and increase trade between the two countries. This time, Li Xiang takes a look at how American businessmen consider investment in China. The American wineries are looking to cash in on China's new thirst for wine. Data shows that in recent years, the amount of U.S. wine consumed in China quadrupled, surpassing 6.2 million liters in 2009. Insiders say increased wine exports to China are fueled by an increase in consumption and demand. 
everyone is very excited about China. Everyone is very interested in becoming involved in China. And I think China is responding as such with an increase in consumption. However, some American businesses have long complained that China sells far more to the U.S. than it buys. San Francisco is home to one of the largest Chinese Chamber of Commerce offices in the United States. Officials there say criticism of Chinese business practices hurts trade, and American companies need China to help them recover. So they'll be doing major purchasing,、uh, helping the American people on the road to recovery, and、uh, I'm sure the American people appreciate that. A new report by the American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai says 80 percent of American companies there intend to boost investments in China. They say these businesses plan to take advantage of China's fast-growing middle class. Li Xiang, CCTV. The Chinese Minister of Science and Technology Wang Gang says China and the U.S. have achieved a great deal in scientific and technology cooperation in recent years, especially in terms of clean energy. Cooperation in this area during the last two years has not only stimulated the trade partnership, but is also bringing together scientists and engineers from the two countries. It's a win-win policy for China and the U.S. to cooperate, especially in science and technology. It will benefit all humans. Agreements concerning scientific cooperation have been renewed. Wang Gang says the two sides are set to expand their cooperation in such areas as clean energy and sanitation, the environment, ocean, agriculture, as well as more traditional fields of research. China and the U.S. can also learn about each other's management system, which should be kept updated with the changing times. Well, media around the world are devoting plenty of coverage to Hu Jintao's U.S. visit, viewing it as one of the most significant since China and the United States established diplomatic ties over three decades ago. The New York Times reports that the Chinese president's trip offers a platform for both sides to deal with divergences, and harmony is the target for the two global powers to realize. The Associated Press says Hu Jintao and Barack Obama had an important private dinner, which implies Obama takes China as both rival and potential partner. And Le Figaro newspaper in France placed Hu Jintao's visit at the top of its front page. The report says it is a long-awaited visit for both China and the U.S. And South Korea's Jung An Daily says the meeting between China and U.S. leaders will confirm the new framework on global order, global peace, and stability. And it largely depends on whether these two powers are cooperative or still trapped in the Cold War. You're watching CC.